Hello there, I'm the Ranger. I've been requested to show you how I put everything in my truck. Before I let you know, I make sure I have all my mirrors and this window open. Because I look, when I'm driving, I look to that window and maybe that one a little bit. My mirror, this mirror, and that mirror at all times. I always try to have those free. I'm going to show you how I set up everything. Now you can set up your way because everybody does it different. I'm going to show you how I set up my gear. Let me show you my gear. But right now I'm going to show you an empty truck. Hello, I'm the Ranger. Today I'm going to talk about my character. Yes. I Hello, I'm the Ranger, and I'm going to talk about my character. That's right, I'm a fictional character, a made-up character named the Ranger. That's my name tag right here, is called the Ranger. That's why I say I am the Ranger, because that's my name. I'm a fictional character made up by another character, which was made me a clone 2215. I hope that sums it up, let y'all know that I have never claimed to be an army soldier or any type of military or armed forces or won any badges or any medals any type of way. I am a fictional character named the Ranger. I am a clone 2215, the Ranger. If you have any other questions, leave the comment below. This is going to be on every video to let you know that you forgot to read the about page. The about page tells a little bit more about why this channel's up. I'm a fictional character. A fictional character. A clone. I hope you know the difference from somebody going around claiming stolen valor and a person just made up a character just to make videos. I hope I don't offend you or you leave because I'm not in the army or never claim to be in the army. So, there you go. Now, this is going to be on every video so you know that I have never claimed to be an army personnel or a real ranger. My name is the Ranger. I hope you enjoy my show. Here is my empty truck. Only thing I'm going to leave in is the ice chest. These sticks because I'm not using them my hobo fishing rod and my rubber band crossbow if you want to see how these are made let me know below now i'm going to show you the back part when i'm leaving in because it's tied <clears throat> 50 if i'm not mistaken 20 liter army issue kind of water tank this water has been in here for almost a year and it's still clear and crystal some other water bottles for my engine and a freeze. I'm leaving my tire in. Underneath the tire is my jack and a few little fish traps that I like to make later. I want to show you what's in my truck right now. And over here, see I have this pillow still in here for my dog. I could take these out. It's just this one, that one pillar. I have a roll of bag, a roll of garbage bags, and I'm gonna leave my knives and my hatchet and my little stuff here for now because this is where it's gonna go and I didn't feel like taking that out. But here's my ice chest for ice. It holds ice for almost a week. Okay, let's begin. Before I'll show you some things that I have in my I put this on top of my gear. The key would be fees from looking in my car say look all that gear i want to take some of this gear Shh. break my windows so i get my gear but if you cover it if you cover your gear with tarps or a this is my gear all that is going in that in a comfortable and situation area i want to show you one piece one one piece by piece all that goes in here and I can still see through my three mirrors and out this window. Let's begin. My art and art equipment. 
up here. Two arm brawlers, walking sticks, some sticks for my tea, my tea for my hammock or tarp. Some other tent poles goes here. The reason why I have it here, I can easily grab my umbrella, protect the valuable equipment like cameras and, and electronics that can't take water. For this, so I grab my umbrella, which is very rare for me to grab, but I do have it in case I need it. Two walking sticks, in case I carry a lot of weight, the walking sticks will give me extra legs. That goes there. In this little cubby in my door, I carry a emergency sheriff the survival uh, knife. In this case, I need to cut off my seat belt or I need to bust the glass to get out of my door. I also have a seat belt cutter and I keep this right here. My glove box. I keep at least one or two flashlights at all time with the batteries out. And at the bottom of the glove box, I have extra batteries. So those would go dead if I needed to do a travel to move stuff to place to place. I have at least two flashlights all the time on me. This is where I keep my flashlights. I have a GPS to tell me where to go in case the shit hits the fan. I can go to another state with no problem and find my way. Between the cracks I have my electronic boxes which charges my cell phones, my GPS and my camera and my phone phone carrier right here. My two precious which is my sweet tea. And here I usually keep my wallet, my extra money for tow bridges if needed or just have extra cash always in your car. This is an extra hammock in case I ever need it for anything. If I want to make a, a quick display of showing y'all something with a hammock, I can just grab this. And I have a tarp loose somewhere else. I'll find it in a few seconds. All right, sometimes I forget what's in these bags, but one of these bags should have clothes or blankets. We can find out which one this one is. This one's clothes. All my camouflage gear I ever need or whatever. I have different types of camo. So that goes in here. And a stuff bag so I can really get it tight and small. Compact. And I can put place that sucker anywhere in, the, in this, this vehicle. And I usually put it about right here. Now, this is a tent. It's a five man tent. This usually is not in my uh, my truck, but uh, when I do carry it, this is where I put it. I put it right here. This is case I need it for family. My family wants to go camping, or we need to bug out. I have a, a nice hammock. I mean, I have it tent. It's a blue tent. I'll put that there. This is a gift was given from my dad. It's a little ice chest, and I put my sweet tea, extra sweet tea bottles, in this bag, and I keep this bag right here. And when I use it, I put my bag uh, teas in there and put it in the front seat where my extra ice chest goes to. Now I only need these pillows no more, but I'm gonna put them on the side and put them where they usually go. They went on top of this. But I'm gonna take these out when I get home. That's temporary for now. I got 250 packs from Harbor Freight. This is good for emergency use only. Plus, I keep it right here in the crack to keep stuff from falling in the crack of this thing. Now, this is a sheet I keep to cover up my gear so no one say, look at that. He got all kinds of good stuff. 
what's underneath there. Maybe dirty laundry. What's the chance of me breaking it in and find out it's just dirty laundry? See the difference? You don't know what's underneath it now. But if you have it like that, they can see what's that. I'm like, what is that? Why you have that? I want that. So what I usually do is take my two sheets and place those to the side for now. My camera case. I'm a photographer, sorry. And I take a lot of pictures in my lifetime. So that goes right here over my knives. This is an easy grab. My knives are easy to grab. They're right here by this back door. Away from me, just in case somebody comes and say, hey, you trying to hurt me? No, my knives are right here. My camera bag is right here by my door. I can easy grab my camera bag, take some pictures and come back. Place it right back where it belongs. Now this door is done. Now we got all that stuff to put in this car to make it still where, where I can see everything. I'm gonna show you this hammock here. I bought this hammock for the rendezvous. If anybody can lay in this sucker while falling or dying, Probably can get to keep it. Uh, that's what was it had in my mind. It's the jungle hammock. It's the GI style jungle hammock. Uh, 78 by 30 by 20. Elevator. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Can't read that much. I can read it in my mind, but I can't speak it. It's weird how dyslexia works. I usually keep that right here. Right underneath the tire in that little hole here on the other side. That's why I keep that. All right, at work I can get these eight crates. So these don't stay in my car, but those usually go right here for temporary because I'm gonna pull these out. I get these at work. If you ever watch the rendezvous videos, that's where you see a lot of those. Now, this should be my blankets. Let's go through it, make sure. Now, this one should be my extra emergency blankets for my car. Usually, any car I'm in, I'm always going to have emergency blankets. You might get into a crash and no one can find you for weeks. <clears throat> this is my emergency blankets. I have it in extra bags to protect it. A very, very special... A uh, friend gave me this. He made it. And I got a one of those blow up blanket mats. That also is not also emergency, but is my part of my camp and stuff. When I use my, uh, my uh, survival vest, I'll usually carry this with me extra. Just in case I didn't bring the right equipment. Bringing the right equipment is a must for me sometimes i don't get the right equipment that's why we always fail to succeed in life we've got to fail and when you fail you learn a lesson now i put this right here i've learned a lesson that anything right here gets wet because the seals are not really good so when you get your truck or car, make sure your seals are sealed right because any equipment here or around this door area can get wet and ruined. I just found out all my emergency or backup food got wet. Some of this is no more good. It's wet and it's gone and I have to throw that away. I got some food that's still good out here especially those in the package but I'm letting them dry you can see the bag is wet because it got mold on it and it's wet so in my car when I go camping at parks I always bring one of these little metal chairs then see look the moisture it's all wet it's by the window too and I thought I had a tarp to protect some of this stuff. So I'm going to leave this out. But usually this goes for my bush chair. I'm going to leave this out and let it dry. Because it's usually the last thing. But it's not in the way. That means all this other stuff. 
This is my other type of bush chair I like to bring. You could sit on it for back support. Back support will help you any situation. You can get better rest. If you're walking in the woods and you find a log, you can put this chair on it and voila, you got instant protection. Plus you can use this as a knee pad and, and a fan. So I have a multiple, multiple use item here for this being what it is. One of these little fold up chairs. You can rest, you, you can sit down and rest your back against a, a, like a chair and you have that, that relaxation. And you can make it as knee pads to start a fire if you have to, or knee pads to collect wood or process wood. You can use this as knee pads. I have emergency tarp in case ever I have to use a tarp for any situation. It stays here all the time behind my car. Then I have a army issue tent, tent uh, camo, which I was going to use it for some type of hammock thing, or maybe I could find the tent for it. That goes on top of that or underneath this. Okay, next item. I always, regardless what car I have, I always carry this bag. I'll show you. I always have this bag in my car. This is a definitely a hammock with the with the straps and a sleeping bag. If you're traveling and you want some rest because you're traveling so far, you can stop at one of those rest areas pop this way in the back so no one else can see you and you can get a good rest out of your car not in your car but out your car and I always carry this I use this a lot at work during the good days I need this in a stuff bag to give me more room but that sleeping bag you wanted to give air to it or kind of like air. That goes right on top of my water bottles. Well, it could be stuffed over here. <clears throat> okay, what's going on? <coughs> my emergency met pit kit. You saw this in one of my videos of what's in this bag. I'm not going through it because you can go watch the video about that. Go watch what's in my met kid and that goes right on top of the water because the water could be used as an emergency for your car an emergency for yourself or others you're traveling down the road you see a car that been hit by another car or been hit by a tree that fell into the road you can probably save that person's life with this kit now this is my gear here This is my my little vest of everything on it. That usually goes in the back because I usually use this when I go in the woods. So it goes in the back. So when I open the door, when I open this door, it's right here. This kit was made earlier to I took everything out. It was a uh, go out and eat kit, like a cook kit. Water bottle, uh, food, you name it. It was like a little food kit to go make uh, canteen cook day. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put that right there because I know I could take that out. For <coughs> now, I got this a dirt cheap. I never got the move it or put it where it belongs so i'm gonna put that right there for now this is my vest for my dog she didn't come along with me because she's busy <clears throat> i usually put that right on top of my vest <clears throat> so i can grab this and me and my dog can go out for a little walk we'll go to the camp 
Now I have a camera stand. So when I come out to make videos, like I'm doing now, I can have it stationary or I can have it moving. That goes right here. Easy access, once again, from the window or the door. Easy access from the window or the door. Even my my survival vest. The only thing that's not easy is the camouflage. But I need to move it because I forgot an item or two items. So we're going to move this out the way. But that's where it goes. We're going to put that right on top of that tarp. Because I forgot this tarp. This is a little emergency four foot by six tarp. That goes right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in because it dried out really quick. Not that quick, I got a little water. And this goes on my bush chair. All right, I got some aprons from my job. In case we run out of aprons. And that usually goes right there. That's for my work. That's why I get to buy all this equipment and make videos. In case doomsday, extra pair of clothes socks underwear belt pants that comes i usually put that right here or sometimes by the door that's like a little booby trap see i usually take this and make a booby trap and i'll show you how that works so the minute somebody opens this door it falls that lets me know that somebody's been in my car, my vehicle. And it's also easy for me to get. All right, well, this fellow looks familiar. I don't play with puppets. Sorry there, mister. But this is the Ranger Cookie's pet. And I know he goes right here on top of stuff. So you have to go in later. So go get your ass right there. Poor Mr. Whoever. I have another food pouch. I definitely have to go through. It feels wet. Yeah, darn it. So this is my two food pouches I carry. And both of these pouches are wet. Because I left them by the damn window door. So what y'all think? That's enough food for what? How many days of food you think that's for? Take a look, do a scan, see what y'all like and don't like. Remember, everybody's different. Everybody eats different. I got a lot of protein food. Nuts, beans, and rice has a lot of protein. And I got these packet chickens. <laughs> These are good to get too. It's chicken in a bag. There's no waste. I hate these cans when you're going out in the woods. Because sometimes you forget the can opener. And sometimes you got trash to get rid of. So I rather buy paper products like these. And I can just throw this in my fire and burn it up. And it's gone. No evidence of me being there. Alright, let's go on with... The rest of the story. All right, food, 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 um, food, food, dog food. Some sweet tea things. Ah, I like to show you what this is. The bow light, but everybody got videos about the bow light. I mean, you can look a better video than mine. goes there all right we got 
the cook kit vest that goes right here. Then we have the survival vest. That goes. Once again, it's by a door, so I can easy grab. Once I grab this, I have a three day deal of hitting the woods and about it. But if I grab the food bag, that's about five days plus three, that's about eight day gone in the woods. Jackets are a must, regardless summer or winter. Always have a jacket in your vehicle. I've learned a lesson one time. During Hurricane Katrina, we had to leave. We went to Virginia. It was hot down here, 100 degrees to 110 degrees here. So when we went to Virginia, we didn't know it was gonna go 60 below all night long. And basically you freeze during the day and night during the summer in Virginia. Now, this is my extra sleeping bag I picked up. That's a nice sleeping bag, I tell you that. I need to put it in a stuff bag or some type of bag, but I usually put that right behind me because at work I get an hour break. And it's kind of not good to put it right here by the back, I mean by the window with no protection. So I hope the tarp I'm going to stuff in here protects all these items that don't need to be wet at all. Alright, now look what we have left. Now what is this bag? This bag is nothing for my winter camping. Nothing but blankets. I love to sleep comfortable and warm. Nothing but blankets. If I do believe, I made a video. What I use when I go camping to keep warm. That's that bag. This bag, it's kind of light as hell. It's nothing but blankets. That's where it went, right underneath this one. Because I remember it rains and I don't want my blankets to get wet. They get moldy and new. Uh -uh. Now we have that left. But first, let's fix this. This is that goes right there. It's out the way. We have the army issue tent. That can go right here. We're on the floor. you see I have multiple jackets because I usually have one in the other car and one in this car all right camera gear see these little packets you get in pill bottles these are good to put with your electronics always put a couple of those in your electronics bag if you like to see what's in this bag Go to Ranger Cookies. Ranger Cookies video. Call Handicapper. I'll probably go over there and rename it. But if you really want to see what's in these bags, just give me a heads up. So that's where I had these at, right here. Let's go remove the pillows to the front. Nope, that's why I did not have these. Because I didn't want no one to see them. That's right. Now I remember where I had these. Where the ham, where the blanket is. Be back. All right. I remember where I had them. Then went behind the seat, so I can easy grab my camera gear. As for batteries for this camera, batteries for my GoPro attachments, things for my GoPro goes right there. Now you see, it's too flat, that means I can see back. And usually if it's too high, I'll, I'll make arrangements real quick or just stuff something somewhere so no one can see stuff. 
there you go. Now it's too flat. I can still see through the back window with the mirror. Now we got all this to deal with. Let's go through it. Look, it's the Ranger Cookies hat. That dude's not smart at all. One day me and him gonna have a little war. Now most of this don't even belong in the truck. It's just clothes and stuff for work. So I'm gonna put that in my front seat because it comes out. That goes right here with the camera stand. All right, now we got food and miscellaneous whatever. Well, there's my shovel. If you didn't check out the shovel, go check out the Survival Mindsets giveaway that I did for him. It shows you my shovel. Now, I always got plenty bank line. I usually call it trout line, but bake line. That goes in the back, right here. Now I have these belts, just in case I need to tack something down on top of my car or whatever. Tie somebody up. That goes right here. I got a little cubby hole for that. And I got these two things that don't belong. This is for hammocks. So it's miscellaneous right now. Basically, I don't have a home for it. So anything I don't have a home for, just put it in the back anyway. Now, I got a Q-beam. That sucker's bright. I usually keep this below my seat. If you don't know why, come on, it's a Q-beam. Spot animals, spot people. Now, here's a gift. It was given to me by a very good friend. I got parts of it. Here's one, here's two, here's three. I need to find a home for this. So I'm gonna put that in the front seat because I'm gonna find a good home for this equipment. Basically, it's a, uh, a uh, new video I need to make. Basically, that's what that is. looks everything comfortable isn't it it's not scattered it's organized I know where everything is and anybody else ever fools with this stuff or moves it I will never find it okay I got some more miscellaneous items I have I had made a a survival kit for my jacket I had to remake for it so this goes up front seat to find a home for it I have these tubes which are supposed to go back in my vest so I have to put those up front because I need to fill them back up and since I used them I don't want to put them back empty We're almost done. Once I get to that, when I finish, well, basically, I am done. Those food bags sit right here. The rest of that is miscellaneous stuff that goes here, there, and everywhere. Some at the house, some at he, in my vehicle. It's miscellaneous, like this. This is supposed to be in my vest. This is that new alcohol stove I have bought from Wish. It needs a home. So that's about it. The rest needs homes and places to go. So this is, uh, I'm going to say I am finished and I'm subbed up this video. Let's check a look before we leave the mirrors. What everything looks like. Just to show you. Organization is always a bus when you pack in your car. See through that mirror here. Oh, no. 
you can see all back there this mirror here I can see and this mirror here I can see and I can turn around and see through that window there and see if any cars are coming so they'll have accidents I'm gonna go ahead and sum up this video thank you for tuning in and don't forget don't forget to like share and comment they do help see you next video